If your sims are craving a romantic outlet but aren't quite sure what to do, then I've got you covered. We're going to look at 21 date ideas for The Sims 4. Just before we get started, know that you can ask your sims that you're romantically close with on a date from the affection section of romantic interactions, and that you can go on a date on any lot, including your sims own home. But while this is how to start an official date, you can also just have two sims go out together and treat it like a date too. And sometimes this can be more fun as you don't have the pressure of an event with specific tasks for you to complete. And with that, let's begin. First is to visit a museum together. Let's be honest, visiting a museum in The Sims 4 is generally a bit basic. Well, unless you've spiced up the museums in your game. But if you go on a date at a museum, then looking at art that you've seen 300 times before is only half the picture. Because you'll also be able to share some steamy moments with your significant other. That's right, the art is just the backdrop to your romance and we're here for it. If you have the Get Together expansion pack then I'd also consider the Von Hort estate for a date too, which is kind of like a museum but more notably it has beautiful expansive grounds that can be really fun to explore. Next up is taking a sim to a hidden world, whether it be the Sylvan Glade or the Forgotten Grotto or the other hidden worlds too. Taking a date to one of these locations is super private and can feel like you're letting your significant other in on your secret spot that only you know about. On top of this, the hidden worlds often have beautiful and super unique environments, which can provide a great background for a couple of selfies or pictures that you take on your date. Next is to have a night out at the cinemas, or any community lot that you've set up to have a big screen and some comfy seating. While it can be indoors, Moonlight Cinemas can also be really fun to visit on a date as well, especially if you have access to the outdoor movie screen and popcorn from the Movie Hangout Stuff Pack or the Backyard TV projector from the Little Campers Kit. Your sims will live their best life under the stars watching a cute movie or maybe just making out. Either way, it's pretty cute. As a side note, if you have the Growing Together expansion pack, then there's a rabbit hole cinema in the Anchor Point Wharf area of San Sequoia that you can make use of on a date as well. Moving on to having a night out at a bar or lounge. Grab a drink and maybe a bite to eat with your significant other, and potentially have a bit of a dance too. A date at a bar or lounge is something that you can do with just the base game, and going to these venues leaves things really open in how your sim decides to go about their night. At lounge, there's also a chance to experience some live music or someone practicing comedy too, which we love. Well, we love it if it actually ends up happening and the sim playing an instrument isn't criminally underskilled. The fifth date idea is to go for a secret swim together, or really just to head to a body of water where you can swim in that's a little bit out of the way. Some great options are the lake in the Wakaba area of Mount Komarebi, the lake in the Galloping Gulch, and the swimmable body of water in the Terra Amorosa area of Tartosa. All of these feel really romantic, and for some reason having sims kiss in the water is just better than having them kiss on land. I can't really explain why, but something about the water just elevates it. Now very similarly is a date at a pool. It's great for a day out on a hot day, but isn't quite as isolated or romantic as a swim in a lake. That being said, as pools are official community lots, they can generally have heaps more amenities. And depending on what packs you have, you can set them up to have things like water slides, ice cream bars, saunas, cafes, and more. Moving on to having a day out at a park. It's space game friendly and provides you with a more outdoorsy and nature-filled option. Also, every park seems to have a chess set if your sim is into that. Parks will often have places to fish too, but really, we all know that liking fishing is a red flag. I'm just kidding. Oftentimes, there will be places to grill and make some food together too, which can be pretty cute as well. And for the eighth idea, we're keeping in line with the outdoor theme and we're going hiking. If you have snowy escape then there are lots of hiking trails around Mount Komarebi, including both around the bamboo forest and temples in the Senbamachi area, as well as the snowy tracks within the Yukimatsu area. Also, if you have the Growing Together expansion pack, then there are hiking trails around the Gilbert Gardens, which can be really nice to walk around on a date too. Let's keep going and look at having a date at a cafe. And cafe community lots come with the Get Together expansion pack. Personally, I'd love grabbing coffee with friends, or in the past on dates too, though admittedly in The Sims it is a little bit vanilla. 
That being said, I still think it can be very cute for storytelling. Also, who doesn't love coffee? Seriously, coffee is life. Also, you can spice up cafes with various lot traits. For example, if you have the Cats and Dogs expansion pack, then you can use the cat hangout and cat friendly traits to create a cat cafe, which just makes the environment for the date much more fun. Let's step up a little from a cafe now by eating out on a date. While you can eat out at many lots like bars and lounges, which are base game friendly, I do specifically want to call out going to restaurant lots, and these do come with the dine out game pack. Sitting down at a restaurant feels like a more formal date setting, and ordering fancy dishes that your sims can then learn to make themselves is a lot of fun too. Next up is going on a karaoke date, and this will require the City Living expansion pack. This can be so much fun to do and can even see your sim gain some singing skill as well. Not to mention that singing a duet is just very cute. While more confident sims could go and sing in front of a crowd, those that much like myself, can't sing to save their life, can opt for more private rooms on their date. Another date idea to consider is going to a festival together. And there's a range of festivals brought in from the City Living Expansion Pack, the Snowy Escape Expansion Pack, and even more hidden festivals from the Island Living Expansion Pack. The obvious standout among these is the Romance Festival from City Living, which literally focuses around romance and love, and which drinking Sakura tea at will get your sim flirty pretty much instantly. So yes, it sets the perfect scene for a very loved up date. Going on a beach date is another great option, and having the Island Living Expansion Pack for access to Sulani and lots of beach lots really does help with this. It can be so fun to go for a dip together, build sandcastles, comb for seashells, and even clean up the beach as a team too if your sims are more environmentally focused. Not to mention that if they go to a beach located within the Moi Pel Am area, then they can also enjoy some saucy waterfall woohoo. On top of this, bonfires at night can create an awesome atmosphere, and if you wanted a more chaotic date for your sims, then you could add the clothing optional trait to a beach lot to turn it into a nude beach too. Moving on to look at a bowling date. This will require the Bowling Night Stuff Pack, but overall, bowling can be a super cute and coupley activity for your sims with some rather quirky animations to help bring it to life. The 15th date idea that we'll look at is to go ice or roller skating, and know that you will need the Seasons expansion pack to have access to this. That being said, they are rather fun and cute activities to partake in. And of course, where there's a rink, there's usually a few more amenities nearby. Skating away on ice before grabbing a hot drink together to warm back up is definitely a vibe. Now let's look at going on a picnic date, and you'll ideally want the Cottage Living Expansion Pack for this to have access to picnic baskets. You can fill a picnic basket with food and then take it with you in your inventory before placing it down on a picnic table and setting up your picnic. And this can be a chill and fun way to grab a bite to eat while having a nice chattels with your date. Moving on to having a day out at a spa together. Now I don't know if this feels a bit intense for a first date, but I think it definitely works for more established couples. You can have sims get massages together or even practice yoga together, before finishing up with some time in the sauna. Sauna woohoo could even be on the cards depending on how scandalous you want your date to be. Overall, it's a cute way to have your sims treat themselves. We're going to look at a camping date next, and again this is probably for the couples that have been going out for a while, seeing as you likely aren't going to go camping with someone that you just met. For this, you'll ideally want a pack that gives you access to tents or sleeping bags, such as Outdoor Retreat, Snowy Escape, for 2, Growing Together, or Horse Ranch. And I'd say that tents are preferable because you can woohoo in them. Your sims can enjoy activities like roasting marshmallows together on campfires and even collecting around the area too. Notably, if you have the Horse Ranch expansion pack, then the Starlight Campgrounds in Chestnut Ridge are a pretty awesome place to go camping at with lots of amenities in the area. Let's now look at having a date around some night markets. There are lots of pop-up food vendor stalls that appear around the world. 
but those located in San Maishuno from City Living have a particularly lively vibe, as there's often a few benches and a few things like busking stations close by to bring the space to life. All in all, going to the various food stands around San Maishuno can make for an awesome casual date in a bustling area. The 20th date idea is to take a stroll along the Starlight Boulevard in Del Sol Valley which will require the Get Famous expansion pack. What makes this date a little exciting for Sims is that they'll have a decent chance of running into some celebrities while they're there. And the final date idea that we'll look at is visiting Copperdale's theme park, which is located in the Plumbite Cove area. This will require the High School Years expansion pack and it makes for a really fun and lively option. There's lots of food to grab from the stalls, and of course you can ride the rides or woohoo on the rides. Nothing wrong with woohooing on the rides too. Well, besides possibly getting banned from them, but whatever. Overall though, it provides an awesome setting for getting to know someone on a date. And with that, we're at the end. That's 21 date ideas for your sims to make use of. If you have any date ideas that I didn't mention, then please feel free to let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!